The second, uh, second or third factor in, in regards to the uh, Africans that came over, after they were here, they spoke a dialect of English which was little understood by not only just the whites, but also by slaves from other parts of the United States, including Harriet. She had a very difficult time communicating with them initially. Right? They spoke Gula Geechee. Is it Geechee? Geechee. Geechee. Okay, Gula Geechee. Okay. And without, I don't, I don't have time to give you some words, but you know, take, take my word for it, okay, that the, the language was quite different from the, that was spoken by other slaves or by slave masters, etc. Okay? So, um, Harriet was sent to. Um, Port Royal, and she initially started to work with women to set up, uh, say, small businesses, and she worked with men to recruit them into the Union Army. But her main task was military intelligence. That is, she set up a military intelligence network directly under the Secret Service in Washington, D.C. She interviewed escaped slaves regarding Confederate fortifications, troop numbers, locations, and movements. She formed a unit of scouts, almost all black, to uh, infiltrate Confederate lines and in turn set up spy networks among both free and enslaved blacks. 